Hi, my name is Andy Wilson, and I'm with Durable Data Corporation. Many of our customers have asked us for more information about how to get the most from their remote data protocol client. RDP clients are used to connect to terminal services and other virtual desktop interfaces like DuraDesk. To launch your remote data desktop connection, go to the Start menu and look inside Accessories. You'll find remote desktop connection either there or sometimes in the Communications subfolder. Now, you could just put in your terminal server address here and go to work, but you'll get more benefit by configuring some of the options. First, let's look at display options. By default, the RDP connection is set to be full screen, but you can change that to any screen resolution you wish. If you have multiple monitors, this will be active and allow you to create an RDP session that goes across both screens. Choose your color depth. If you want the latest arrow user interface uh, elements and streaming video, you need to have it set to 32-bit. And display the connection bar when I use the full screen determines whether or not this little bar up here is displayed so that you can easily move out of the terminal session and back to your local desktop. The local resources tab lets you decide whether to pipe audio to and from your local computer. So you can choose to play audio on this computer and you can choose to bring the microphone from this computer locally to the terminal server remote session. The keyboard option lets you decide whether Alt-Tab will affect the terminal server session or just switch between programs locally. The local devices and resources is very important. If printers is not checked, you will not be able to print to local printers. Likewise, Clipboard supports copy and paste from the local computer to the remote session. Click the More button to see Drive options. If you open drives, you can see each of the local drives that are available on your local computer. And you can turn on one or another, or you can turn them all on. Drives that I plug in later includes USB attached hard drives that you might add after you've started your remote terminal session. Other plug and play devices can include things like smart cards and uh, video cameras, USB microphones, etc. The Programs tab allows you to define a program that will automatically start, like Microsoft Word or your favorite web browser, when you launch the terminal server session. Finally, the Experience tab. We tell our customers generally low speed broadband is fine. Terminal server will actually run pretty well, all the way down to 56 kilobits per second. But this seems to be the best balance for most users, particularly if they have a number of people in their office who are connecting to the terminal server at the same time. It keeps you from saturating the available bandwidth. If you're working at home and you have high-speed uh, high broadband, this WAN connection gives you everything. Font smoothing, complete animation. Uh, it's just like having an actual Windows 7 Arrow machine right there. The Advanced tab uh, is primarily used if you have a terminal server gateway which is a, a method of authentication. Uh, it's not used with DuraDesk. So that's it. Once you've configured it, put in your terminal server and your username, and then hit Save, and you can save this profile for future use.